Welcome to Kiran Rice University. I am Ed Cruz. Once again, thank you for joining us. Um, and today, as the title says, the number one excuse that I always get from students that's causing them trouble is no partner. And I get it. No, having no partner, not being able to practice is kind of like, you know, having the same motivation when you go to the gym. If you go to the gym in the beginning and you want to start working out, losing weight and so forth, you basically say you have a partner. It's like, dude, let's meet up and so forth and uh, we, we can work out. But the reality is when you train in Wing Chun, there's actually three phases in Wing Chun that you have to think about. First of all, and, and why the excuse of no partner really isn't a legitimate excuse. So first of all, when you come into training, there's three phases. So the first phase is basically practicing everything by yourself. So think of things like basically Sim uh, Tao, punching, shifting, footwork, hand techniques. There's a slew and array of, uh, of drills that you can do over and over again by yourself. And if you can't do it well, then you gotta still keep practicing it. So in other words, all people think, okay, I, I practice um, 20 single man techniques, you know, 20 single man techniques for a while, and it seems okay, but you, you remember, if you haven't mastered it or have perfected it to a point where you feel comfortable using it uh, by itself, it's not gonna work too well when you have a partner. So that's phase one, when you, when you have no partner at all, you basically practice things by yourself, and there's so much to practice. Second stage is once you have that, you enter into the dummy stage. The dummy basically serves a purpose. The dummy is your, what is it? Your unmovable partner. So basically with the dummy, you can apply anything that you do in Wing Chun, single, you can actually apply to the dummy as well. It's your tool to help you get better. And I think that's what people fail to do. It's, a, it's not just a dummy form. You don't just have one form. If the drills are done properly and so forth, you can apply one thing in, uh, by yourself, you can apply another thing to the dummy and et cetera. So the dummy, uh, and you remember, the main function for the dummy basically is to make sure that um, since it doesn't adjust, you have to be able to adjust to it. So it's very, it's very useful in that sense that it's a stationary object, it's unmovable, so you basically have to make the constant adjustments to that. So, so phase one is by yourself, two is basically with a dummy, so you learn how to make adjustments, and finally phase three is with your partner. So with a partner, now it's someone different, someone moving, and so forth. So, but if you look at the stages, phase one means you learn to perfect things by yourself. That means if I know how to put my tans out here, then when I work with a partner who's shorter, or taller, I know how to make the adjustments because I know exactly where it is at that particular stage to apply and put my, um, my tans out. With a dummy, now I know how to make adjustments to a fixed object. So that fixed object teaches me overall how to make the adjustments if I'm too close, I'm too far, if, I'm, uh, if I have to go high or low and so forth. So finally, stage three is with the partner and the partner obviously is different heights, different distances, movability and so forth. But Right there is the perfect example. Of your Wing Chun training, the partner is one third of the three phases. So that means even if you're struggling, even if you maybe see a partner maybe like once, once a month or not for a while, there's so much in Wing Chun that you can practice by yourself and with a dummy. So don't make that an excuse that your Wing Chun isn't good because you don't have a partner. There is, you can, you can actually go partnerless for a long time and practice those two thirds of it with uh, single man techniques and uh, the dummy for a long time. And then eventually, then you have a partner and you get lucky, then you can learn how to apply it with the partner. But don't make that the, your excuse that you can't get better because you don't have a partner. Two thirds of your Wing Chun training doesn't involve a partner. So make sure you actually focus on those core, core things before you go running off and uh, seeking out a partner. All right, hopefully, uh, I, know not, uh, I know that's not so much a uh, uh, physical in instruction, but I, I d definitely want people to understand that that's significant um, when, when it comes to training. There's always something to train on, whether you are by yourself or not, okay? So anyway, thanks again. If you haven't subscribed, liked, um, or uh, joined the Karen Rice University on uh, uh, so forth, please definitely do so. Thank you again. All comments, questions, and answers, I'm more than glad to happy, uh, happily answer them for you. And thanks again for supporting the site. And uh, don't forget, find your gung fu.